Check out our forums at http colon forward slash forward slash crapnetwork.com slash forum. Our forums are proudly sponsored by CigarGeeks.com. CigarGeeks.com is one of the largest cigar communities online. You can also download the Cigar Geeks app for the iPhone or Android mobile platforms. Check them out at http colon forward slash forward slash CigarGeeks.com. On this episode of Man Vs. Cigar, we take our walk through the tobacco jungle. Long, made by Long Ashes and Triple Madero, the Crap Network crew. Let's find out what we can get into. Hey, what's up, Crap Network viewers? Uh, all kidding aside, this is what we call the Tobacco Jungle. Crap Network team, specifically Long Ashes, myself, and Triple Maduro. I've been uh, putting a lot of work into this. Started planting them in April, and they started out with basically a grain of salt, and now they're monsters. These things stand about seven feet tall. And come over and take a look at some of these leaves. Some of these leaves are insane. Here's a cigar and a hand for comparison. Look, look at the how oily that leaf is. That's nice. We've already harvested some, as you can see. Harvested the bottom part. You can see right there. And we're about to uh, harvest the middle part of the plant now. And it will be one more week of harvesting and everything will be hanging to dry. Be browning. Show them down at the bottom and go straight All right. Here, let's get a better these have like beans all over them and stuff. Here. Yeah. I'll do this one here. Alright, there's the bottom. Got to tie it off by stakes because it actually fell over. And the weight of it. And... Moving up the plant. Zooming out as I move up. Just to kind of give you a an example of how tall these things really are. Now this one here that Long Asses is doing, this one is probably about maybe six and a half feet tall. Yeah, we got some uh, sevens over here. And it looks like we got some eight ones too. Some of them, if you look, are not as tall. Still got some nice leaves on them though. There's a tall one back in the back there. And we're gonna be picking some leaves here, but we wanted to show the Crap Network viewers what we've been doing, what we've been up to, and uh, we'll be uh, rolling some of our cigars and maybe we'll actually give some out in the contest. Hopefully they're not crap. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully they're diamond in the rough and not shitty as shit. Yeah, let's hope so. Triple Madero, you got anything to add to that? Um, well, uh... What has this experience been like for you? Uh, it's been hard work, and hopefully it'll pay, it pays off and everything, and... Uh, myself and Long Ashes here, we dedicated to smoking cigars and everything, and uh, it's been hard work, and we love smoking cigars, and this uh, tobacco experience here, growing tobacco, and it uh, helps us, you know, appreciate, people, appreciate, you know, yeah, appreciate and respect cigars and respect cigars, and it really does. And, it helps you really appreciate and respect what goes in the cigar making yeah and so we can have these uh these guys right here yeah this is a rocky patel edge rocky patel's a dick <laughs> yeah that's right i said it everyone's thinking and they just haven't said it <laughs> <laughs> well yeah this is our crop right here our main crop now yeah, look at those leaves and th these leaves are big i mean if you were right yeah. here to take a look at them it's uh it's nice humble. oily oily and some have, of these leaves are kind of long and yeah we have three different blends yeah we have dixie shade which is what we're going to utilize for the wrapper we have uh pennsylvania red which is a uh, dark rich tobacco that we're going to use for the filler and the binder is a connecticut shade it's a havana 263 seed 
and uh, that's usually the smaller ones here but uh, we're gonna be uh, concentrating on not just the blend but also the area of the plant you have the uh, the Seiko or the Viso then you have the Velado and then of course you have the Lajero at the top and the Corona is like the very top ones has these little guys right here you don't really hear too much about people using these but apparently this has the most flavor in it so maybe we'll utilize that somehow look there's an actual seed pod yep sitting right on there, there. Yep. seeds for next year yep. we're probably gonna do it next year if everything turns out okay and maybe even in more of a mass quantity because we had fun doing it and we might even get ourselves a small piece of land to do it here just got yep. done harvesting the middle part of the plant as you could see oh my god lots of leaves we're uh, thinking in total we're probably having about 1500 to 1600 leaves and easily 500 cigars probably a lot more especially depending on the size of course but our size is going to be 4.5 by uh, 56 kind of a shorty size we already have a cigar press for it working on getting all the other materials as the uh, the leaves bake in the kiln fermenting let's go let's go ahead and take a look at what these guys look like after we pick the leaves off look at this you remember the jungle we were in before the jungle starting to look a little bare that one fell over from the storm and grew a hunchback I got some uh, oddly shaped ones there too kind of snaking up almost like a bean plant we actually have some bean plants over here that that were uh, grown as well in this garden that started to attack the the tobacco kind of strangle it had to cut them down had a, had a mole come in here destroy some stuff deer walk through chew on some leaves storms knock them over bugs chew on the leaves yep I think we had just about every uh, natural disaster you can think of, but, but overall, we babied them. We came yeah. out soon as, pretty much, almost as soon as those that those bad things happened, we freaking were on it and put the stakes in the ground. Got some dust for the uh, insects. Squirted them down. Tried to get rid of the mole. He's still around somewhere. That little fucker. Hell, fucking mole. <laughs> fucking kill it. <laughs> we'll smoke a cigar on the remains. Well, that's a little sick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Freshly harvested. On down the line. Some of these we haven't harvested, as you can see, because we were leaving that for somebody else. It's somebody else's plant. That's theirs right there. They got some of the bigger ones up front, but we pretty much got everything here. Total of about 78 plants, 200 seeds starting with. It's not bad at all. Yeah. It's been hard work, like Triple Maduro said earlier, but it's definitely worth it. It's been a lot of fun, and it's been exhilarating. Yeah, it's very exhilarating. Yeah. I orgasm in, cl in climax every time I pull these leaves. <laughs> oh, and oh. Been, they've been squirting on us. <laughs> they have been squirting on us. Some green squirt. Yep. Ugh. <laughs> All right, that's it. It's the Long Ashes and Triple Maduro signing off. We smoked the shit. So you don't have to. Hopefully we don't grow the shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hopefully it's diamond in the rough. Yeah. Later. Sometimes, hidden within the depths of the tobacco jungle, you never know what you might find. There's always some kind of crazy activity going on. You never know what... Oh, wait! There's something now! Let, let's zoom in here! What do we see? What is it? What is it? Oh my god! Oh my god, what, what was that? Oh, look, there he goes! Let's try to follow him! Oh! Aha! Uh -huh.